All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahaha Kadash. Yahweh, the only true, powerful, and holy name of who people ignorantly, very ignorantly, refer to as God, likewise manner, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, who people ignorantly refer to as Christ. And the Rakah Kadash, literally translated, Spirit Holy or Holy Spirit, is the driving force behind the lessons that we do in all truth and sincerity. All right. Uh, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Um, Brother Yeshaya, uh, coming back with a uh, quick uh, World War Three update. Um, you know, uh, Iran warns Slovakia. <laughs> Iran warns it may change nuclear weapons stance in face of Israel. U.S. announces sanctions, okay? Now, as we know, you know, it's been going down over there in the Middle East. The Lord is, you know, gathering the troops in the Valley of Yehoshaphat or Jehoshaphat in the English for his judgment, okay? Yehoshaphat, uh, the Lord's judgment, you know? And the Valley of Decision, okay? And this has been stirring up. And, um, you know, it, it, it may seem as though brothers are like, you know, it's a uh, a broken record, so to say, but it's not a broken being a broken record, man. All right, and this in this truth and in his faith, we learn that certain uh, attributes, that basically our attributes and our level of faith and you know our talents, so to say, are uh, distributed by the Lord. Okay, some brothers are good with this, some brothers are good with that. But you have to find out what genuinely gets you excited, what genuinely you know in your heart that, you know, you have an inkling or, uh, you know, uh, toward, uh, if, if that was the right word. Um, but anyway, I say all that to say this, uh, the, you know, World War Three, and especially, uh, at, um, you know, so, uh, surrounding Iran and Russia. Uh, man, it gets me excited every time. So that's why every time I see, well, you know, for the most part. Um, if I see something about Iran or Russia or the least of the flock, you know, I try to do like a little, uh, you know, a little update on it, um, and give my take on it, um, uh, you know, and I'll bring out scriptures, of course. And then, yeah, it's going to be the same scriptures, Joel three, Ezekiel 37, <laughs> but that doesn't make them less valid. So let's get into the, uh, to, to the article. I don't mean to ramble too much. Iran warns it may change nuclear weapons stance in face of Israel. U.S. announces sanctions. The U.S. announced a fresh set of sanctions on Iran, Haran, um, targeting the production of unarmed aerial vehicles Thursday as the Tehran warned Israel it would review its official stance on nuclear weapons if its atomic facilities were attacked. Now, you know, this is, this is America. Okay, big, bad, you know, Babylon the Great. But, hey, them sanctions is not going to be working anymore, man. All right. Iran... Uh, you know, um, Iran and, uh, you know, the state of Israel, you know, uh, been going, you know, back and forth and been threatening each other. But, you know, hey, um, the, the U.S. is going to, um, rear its ugly head and, and, and join in. Okay. But, hey, the allies that's uh, battling America and their allies, they're getting more and more powerful. Okay. And, and they're, they're standing staunchly. All right. They're standing bold. Okay, and you know it's it's a it's a it's a beautiful thing to see because, hey, not too long ago, they wouldn't even these countries wouldn't even dare to bat their eye at, at Babylon the Great, okay, wouldn't even throw a rock. But now you know, there's an attack. Uh, you know, especially um, it it hasn't hit you know uh, Babylon the Great yet, but attacking the allies, they know what they're going to get into because the allies are going to respond. And by, you know, them going um, against the state of Israel, hey, it, the Lord the Lord is doing this. The Lord is playing on the minds of these leaders, man. All right? The U.S. are now, because, um, oh, and, and really fast, there's a separate set of uh, angels over there in the Middle East, okay, that's that's working on the minds of those leaders, okay? And that's, that's you know, um, building this whole thing up, so to say. The U.S., Announced a fresh set of sanctions on Iran. I already read that verse. Uh, I said verse. Uh, next, does the latest wave of actions Thursday by the United States and Iran came 
on the heels of Tehran's missile and drone attack on Israel last weekend. Senior Iranian Revolutionary Guards Commander Ma Major General Ahmad Haqtalab said in brief comments on Iranian state media that Iran would reconsider its nuclear policy in if the event of any attack. <laughs> Iran has long maintained amid deep inter uh, international skepticism that its nuclear program that its nuclear program is for civilian energy purposes only. When pressed on this point, it officials often point to the fatwa or formal religious ban on their acquisition, development, and use by uh, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Iran's supreme leader in the 1990s. So yeah, this this um this goes back, okay? Because um you know. Hey, the 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 U.S. always had their eyes on, on um you know these smaller countries that but hey Iran is not is nothing to play with though man I, Iran is, is a formidable uh, opponent especially when you tie in nukes and especially when you tie in the uh various their various um uh allies so to say so yeah it says uh sanctions will hit Iranian companies involving involved in the uh, manufacturing of drones suppliers and customers of one of the largest steel producers and automobile companies tied to as to to the IRGC and the defense ministry okay bam bam uh <laughs> I'm gonna I'll read this last part let it be clear to all those who enable or support Iran's attacks, the United States is committed to Israel's security. We are committed to the security of our personnel and partners in the religion, uh, in the region, and will not hesitate to take any all necessary action to hold you accountable, he said. Uh, the UK also imposed sanctions on Iran's drone and ballistic missile industry. So there you go, the mother, okay? Um, but even she's going to be so confounded, like the scripture is going to say, the mother being UK, the, um, you know, Great Britain or whatnot, the mother to uh, Babylon the Great. So, hey, even, you know, the, the last the last one in America's corner is going to um, turn their back on her. All right. It says that they shall hate her and burn her with fire. Right. All right. So, yeah, let's. uh, Let's go to. Uh, Joel three. Joel 3 and 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. So, yeah, they're taking, you know, um, resources, finances, and things like that made for agriculture, built for agriculture, and they're putting it into their uh, um, 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 nuclear programs. All right, and America is trying to sanction them and do all this and do that, uh, but it's not going to work. It's only going to get them mad, get them more angry. And then they're going to revolt until it's all out nuclear warfare, man. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. All right. Hey, if you're a part of the elect, all right. And if you're part of the ones that, you know, are going to come up hither and hide yourselves for, um, you know, a moment. All right. The elect. So, yeah. Um, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So there you go. All right. The Lord is going to, um, he, he's, he's working on the minds through the angels of these certain military leaders all right, to do a little pity pat stuff now. All right. It's starting like that. You know, it, uh, uh, wars always start like that. Look at an argument. Look at a fight. It's all, it, it starts with something minor. You might not like somebody like, oh, okay. Uh, and then. Uh, uh, an insult gets thrown, then another one, then m mamas get involved, then baby mamas get involved. <laughs> you know, you start talking about people's kids, and then hey, before you know it, it's a it's a full on fist fisticuffs, all right. But the Lord is doing that on a higher scale to ultimately, you know, the icing on the cake being the thermonuclear missile fire that's going to totally destroy Babylon the Great, but also various parts of the world. All right. Now I did mention. Uh, what is this, Jeremiah 50? Uh, this whole chapter is dope, but um, I just want to go to uh, ooh, yeah, this whole chapter is dope. Here it is. Um, 
Jeremiah 15 and 22, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? So there you go. And that's going back to what I was saying all right, in the uh, article, you know, where it talks about uh, them, um, you know, uh, 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 putting sanctions on other countries, uh, telling them what they can do and what they cannot do. OK, just to uh, keep them at bay or keep them in control to where when this thing goes down, they have the total upper hand. But the Lord already knows that the Lord is the master chess, chess player. So all of these things are getting worked out and all the kinks are getting worked out no matter, you know, what these high level elites, what the uh, Illuminati, <laughs> what, you know, Lucifer is doing, man. All right. And you can't you can't go you, you can't go against the Lord's uh, um, program or, or his will. You can't. It's impossible. All right. So, yeah, you know, look at that. The, the, the hammer of the whole earth is certainly broken. OK, so now, you know, uh, um, these lesser countries, they're, they're they're doing things like that. And look at Russia, man. Russia, tch, Russia is just, you know, I just saw an article where uh, a, 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 a ship just so happened to be, you know, around. Uh, I, I mean, was discovered on the coast of, you know, the U.S., Hey, man, if that would have happened, what? Let's say 50 years ago, 100 years ago, it'll be another war because, you know, hey, it was the Cold War and all that, man. But now, you know, hey, they're just taunting them, man. They're just taunting them. And and, and that's part of that uh, hammer being broken. And, you know, I love I love bringing this one out um, because, like I said, uh, I mean, you know, something about the, uh, the, the Persians and, and everything, how the Lord is just putting everything together and, um, you know, I just love bringing this out. Um, Ezekiel 38 and 1. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. Okay, that land area is Russia. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesy against them, him. And say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Okay, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed, with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, okay, which is Iran, all right, for, um, formerly known as Persia, but it's Iran, Ethiopia, you know, and and that's the and that's the dope thing that the Lord did. Um, the, uh, like this, that's the beautiful thing He did, because some of these uh, nations are still named this till this day. So just adding validity to, you know, the Lord's prophecies, which they don't need validity added to them. But, you know, just for the naysayers. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands. The house of Turgomar of the north qu uh, uh, quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. So Turkey's going to get involved. Uh, you know, that, that whole area is, is, is about to be lit up, man. All right. And it's getting hot. The war drums are beating. So, yeah. Um. That's about it. Lord willing, it was edifying. Um, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahah, Gwadash. Double honors to, to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and a peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Shalom.